What's up everybody and welcome back. Man, I feel like we haven't done a cable build in a hot minute. So uh, let's let's do that. Today, I've got to build uh, two 25 foot uh, TRS cables uh, for use uh, to wire my Apollo interface to, um, to my central station. Uh, I, I realized that I have no way of, of working in my studio without, uh, I have no way of working in my studio without turning the console on. So that's, that's no fun. So, um, let's, uh, let's get this cable built. Okay. So I built one already. We're using the Neutrik NP3X-B connector. And we are building this on StarQuad cable. Now, this is the install version of StarQuad cable. So this is the L4E5AT cable. Um, I use this cable at the shop um, because it's, uh, it allows me to keep, you know, one, uh, one standard mic cable uh, in install or in stock because, you know, we primarily do installs here. So, you know, very, very rarely are we building um, you know, looms and looms of, of mic cables. So this is nice. And it's four conductors and it's shielded, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, taking this connector out of the bag, um, I would highly recommend getting a good set of tweezers. Uh, this, these are worth their weight in gold here. So, um, taking the connector out of the bag, you've got four pieces. You have the, uh, the little, the little brass guy that, is what you know goes into the, the jack. I know really technical terms here. Uh, the little back nut, uh, the strain relief, and the well the receiver nut thing. Anyway, um, setting this off to the side, you want to start with uh, this back nut. This is the important thing. Uh, throw that on your cable first. You know, don't throw gently, please. Um, and then we're going to strip this back. So what I like to do is just take a nice little. Uh, kink like that and then take a utility knife and just very very gently score the outer jacketing of the cable and if you look you can kind of find where you want it to be and then you can just kind of crack it and it'll come out now this is uh you know as far as cable building goes i feel like that is kind of tricky uh because you don't want to cut through that jacketing so if you cut through, you got to start over again. Um, so looking at the StarQuad cable here, uh, this is a five conductor cable. Uh, there is an uninsulated ground line here, often referred to as the drain wire. Um, and then you've got some, you know, you've got the, the conductors in here. So you've got two whites and two blues. So um, the install version of this cable is a shielded cable. It has uh, foil on the inside, uh, whereas the portable version of this cable, uh, which the model number escapes me, but it is very close to the uh, model number I mentioned for this, um, has uh, braided jacketing across the, uh, the outside. I should probably make a video on that. Uh, maybe by the time you're watching this video, I will have done that, and there will be a link in the corner, but at this current time, there's not. Um, so there's this w uh, yellow kind of... Uh, fibrous stuff that's in here um, and there's also some white string that keeps the conductors separated so uh, this is my least favorite part of the cable is it just doesn't really cut super great especially with my little my little flush cutters here which are seemingly the right tool for the job all right so once you've got that separated i like to take my thumb and just sort of measure here and cut off one last time. Check this guy, we'll cut these down to length. Um, the reason why I do that is it is a lot easier to strip the cable uh, in, a long in a long way and then cut it down. If you, try to, if you try to cut it with just this little bit, it's kind of a pain. Um, so this is a 24 gauge cable. Um, so I'm just gonna strip all four conductors. And again, I like to do these long at this stage at least. All right, so you take your colors, just like this, and you twist them, just like this. Okay. All 
Okay, so once you have it and it looks like this, I'm just gonna confirm that our little end nut is there, and it is. Take a bit of solder. Just tin the tips here. And then, what I like to do is I like to take my cutters, and cut these down to just teeny little guys. Just like that. And then, we're gonna take our connector here, put that guy in there just like that. Take a bit of flux. in there just like that and then we will tin our connector okay so looking at the connector here, use my tweezers to point, this, uh, this center pin is the tip, this top one is the ring, and then the, uh, this bottom portion is the sleeve, uh, which is our ground. So uh, when using a star quad or any uh, cable, you just pick a color and stick with it. So usually um, I do the blue as the tip. So. If you've got a thin tip soldering iron, you can actually put the, the iron at a perpendicular angle like this. Heat it up and stick that guy in there just like that. Let it harden and then that's good to go. And then you take this top guy. And I try to just match the angle as best I can of the uh, this little this little tab. And then using the pressure and tension of the cable, get that to stick just like that. And then these guys are good to go. And then what I like to do for the ground wire is I like to sort of size it up just like this. And then because it wants to sort of flay out on you when you cut it, um, I will tin the wire kind of around where I want to cut it. And this is the part that I always burn myself, so I'm not going to do it while I'm on camera. All right, so that ends up right around there. I'm just going to give that a little cut. And this is where your bent tip tweezers come into play. Just grab this guy from underneath, just like this. All right, then you should have something that looks uh, sort of like this. And then we just give it a little twist like that. Put our little strain relief guy on there like that. I like to sort of feed it through. Like that. All right, and that's how you uh, you solder the NP a 3X dash B on some Star Quad. Thanks for stopping by.